Hello everyone, Drake Rich here, and today I want to uh, provide an update on the state of Helldivers 2 and what's going on. So, we're going to start, I'm going to go through the Reddit posts and what players are saying and all this stuff. So, this meme here kind of goes through what's going on pretty good. So, the players refunded Helldivers 2 as a protest, and then Sony apologized and backpedaled, needing PSN, right? To log into the game. So everyone bought Helldivers 2 again. Because they were happy right? <clears throat> and then Sony. This is a picture of all the different countries. That Sony blocked the game on. So you can't buy these games. Uh, you can't buy Helldivers 2 in 130 different countries now. So it's been a week. Since Helldivers 2 restricted the countries. So now it's restricted in even more countries now. And this guy said, we need to start worrying about Sony bullshitting us. So it says, news from PlayStation themselves. Helldivers fans, we have heard your feedback on Helldivers 2 account, linking update, and the May 6th update, which would have required Steam and PlayStation Network account linking for new players and for current players, beginning May 30th, will not be moving forward. We'll still be learning what is best for our players, and your feedback has been valuable to us. So, then I went and found this, which is Steam, uh, on May 11th, which is today, 6.30 in the morning, seven hours ago. I they said, I apologize for the delay in our response, and I understand your eagerness to resolve the issue. However, following Sony's recent announcement, PSN account linking is no longer required for Helldivers 2. We already know this. Also, it looks like this game is not available in Steam right now for specific regions as decided by the publisher. So according to the Steam rep, the publisher Sony is the one who locked out the, the regions, okay? This information is all we have right now, and we can't tell when the game might be made available to those countries. You may consider getting in touch with the game's publisher to ask more details about it or share your feedback to them. You can reach Helldivers 2 support by using the information from the official support section here. As for refund for this game, checking on your purchase seems you've already made progress on it and have already accessed it for more than 58 hours. Likewise, your purchase date was in... February 16th, 2024, which is way past the refund window. So, then we have Pirate Software posted a tweet that Estonia, Lithuania, and Latvia have been added to the restricted countries. This, this is 21 hours ago, was, this Reddit post was posted. And Pirate Software posted this May 10th, so yesterday. And then the CEO of Helldivers responded. And he said, Hey, in regards to this, we have no idea what's going on. Most devs are on bank holiday. And we just found out through the community. We want the game to be available worldwide. And then there's a meme posted four hours ago. I love democracy and irony. And it says PlayStation Play has no limits. And then it shows all the countries that you can't play it in. <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny. And then we have... People are complaining about the balancing issues. And they posted that uh, this explains a lot. And it says, this is a standard practice designers use when developing new armor, weapons, mechanics, etc. You balance against the highest difficulty to ensure the end game players are appropriately powered. And then he said, he asked the guy in charge of testing from Arrowhead, I had a question. In what difficulty do the developers play to determine whether a weapon requires a buff or a nerf? In my opinion, balancing should be based on experience gained at the highest difficulty levels, 8 to 9. And then he said, this blows my mind. QA level designers with a massive cold and people on the phone aren't the ones looking at balance. They're trying to ensure functionality and stability. And then the response, depends on, okay, on occasion. If I'm in a playtest session with HR reps, a level designer with a massive cold, and someone on a busy phone call, we will probably go quite low. 
when Q and A are playing together, they're pretty much they pretty much roll through all difficulties. So it's not really the response he wanted to hear when it came to how they test the balance. A lot of players are upset with the balance right now. And even more players from 130 different countries are upset that they can't buy the game or play the game that they bought. Or well, I don't even know I'm sure what's going on with them. So and I'm think I was thinking about it too, like the review bombing. People probably downvoted the game and then refunded it. I'm not sure what happens to your review after you refund something, but if it's still there, like they can't even take it back. Because they can't rebuy the game and take it back. Maybe. Anyway, we'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys posted. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more updates to what's going on in Helldivers. And uh, I'll talk to you guys next time.